Who's paying for your credit card bonus, rewards points, sign up bonuses, all that fancy stuff that you really love? By the way, I have this credit card right here, right? And this card gives me 5% on certain things every time of the year. So this month, I'm getting 5% on Amazon. So every time I buy something on Amazon, I get back 5%. Isn't that great? On top of that, I have another card that gave me. 50,000 points when I signed up and spent over $3,000. Well, I ended up spending around like 9,000, a little overboard, but that's another topic for another video, but don't worry about it. I didn't pay any interest or anything like that. But the whole point is this, guys. Who's paying for your reward points, okay? Who's paying for this stuff and who is responsible for it? So in this video, I'm gonna break it down and I'm also gonna break down how you can take advantage of everything and actually make money from rewards. Now on top of that, if you check the description down below, I have no links about credit cards, so I'm not biased. I'm not gonna tell you, hey, get this card, get the other card, get that, blah, 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 no. I'm just telling to you guys about who is making all the money when it comes to these rewards. On top of that, if you guys don't know me, but before you guys get to know me, um, if you like Dave Ramsey, you probably will like this video a ton. But maybe not. Who knows? But guys, if you guys don't know me, my name is Tony Bryson. I'm an accountant, and I upload videos on YouTube every single day. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notified. On top of that, do me a huge favor, smash the like button. And here's a question for you guys, okay? Who do you think is winning? Whenever you get a sign up bonus of around like maybe $500 to $750 when you sign up for a new credit card. So comment down below and let me know. Now, if you ask me, Tommy, what do you think? You know, well, I can't tell you. I'll tell you at the end of the video. But for right now, I'll give you guys a hint. Credit cards are basically like this, okay? And <laughs> this is hilarious to me. But basically, you know, it's kind of like, you know, you steal from the poor to give to the poor. And now you can steal from everyone else, okay? Because now everyone is poor, including the rich just got poor. So that's how it works. Comment down below and let me know though. Who do you think is winning when you get a sign up bonus for like 500 bucks or like 750? Comment down below, let me know. And when it comes to who's paying for your credit card rewards, I'm gonna talk about all the rewards. For example, sign up bonuses, cash back, when you get like extreme cash back, like maybe like 5%, 3% for like an entire year. I'm gonna cover all that stuff right in this video right now. On top of that, in short, the answer is this, okay? In short, customers are paying for other customers' rewards, okay? So I might be paying for your rewards, you might be paying for my rewards, everyone is paying for each other's rewards. It's kind of like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy, I'm getting a reward, but in reality, uh, you're kind of paying for them also, okay? I'm gonna break all that stuff down, but it's kind of very interesting. So, for example, there was a story I always remember in like a Disney story and they always spoke about like, hey, you know, this credle and like a witch, you go to this candy house, you eat candy. Well, in this entire situation here, the candy house is the bank. The witch is the teller or the bank owner, whatever you want to call them, and the kids are you. And whenever you go inside the bank and they give you candy, eat, 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 well, that's the credit card right there. Here's more debt. <laughs> Here's more debt. Here's more debt. And then you get fat. And that represents you getting into a lot of debt. And now you're stuck in this house. And guess what? You have to try to hide. You have to try to maneuver. Because if you don't maneuver, you'll probably like end up going bankrupt. That's the entire point here, guys. Okay? Credit card points, credit card rewards come from your own pocket and your friend's pockets and their friend's pockets. And that's how it works. Okay? It's the entire Gretel and the witch story coming into life. And the general idea is this. Okay? Credit card companies want to give you points, and that way you spend a lot of money, and that way they're hoping that, hey, you're going to eat too much candy, and now you're going to get fat, you can't move, and now you're going to get debt, debt, debt equals more money, money, money for us. So the more you spend, the more rewards you get, but the higher the risk actually gets, okay? That's the entire concept when credit cards and banks want to give you money, and you're like, okay, I'll take the money. Well, you got to be careful, bro. So let's start breaking down exactly how they make all this money and where the rewards actually come from and how are they actually being paid for. So the first thing is this, okay? When it comes to cash back, cash back, everyone loves cash back. I get 5% cash back. 1% sometimes. I have credit cards that give me 1.5%. I love cash back as much as the other guy. But in reality, Tommy, where does this money actually come from when you use cash back? Well, let me tell you, it does not come from the bank's pockets. It actually doesn't come from your pocket either or your friend's pockets, but it actually comes from businesses. So for example, Tommy, what do you mean here? What well, every time you go to a business, for example, 
I get 5% when I go to a grocery store sometimes. When I go there and I spend money and then entire grocery store, well, guess who's paying for it? It's not me. It's not you. It's not the credit card company. So who is? Well, it's that business. The business pays an average of around 1% to 3% to process that transaction. So in reality, when you get that 1% cash back or 2% cash back, well, in reality, the business is just paying it out of pocket from that entire fee. So the credit card just gives you a percentage of their profits. And that way, you just got back some cash back, but it actually came from the entire business. But Tommy, that's awesome, right? Isn't that great? Well, no. Because guess what? Business owners are not stupid. You're not stupid. I'm not stupid. Credit cards are not stupid. Okay, no one's stupid in this situation. So what's actually taking place here? Well, I remember when I had a drop shipping business and I was drop shipping items from Amazon to eBay, I was selling them all the time. Well, guess what happened? I will sell an item and then I found out like, hey, so you're telling me when I sell these AirPods for $100, I have to pay PayPal? I have to pay PayPal like um $3? On top of that, like a flat fee? Well, the answer is, I'm not going to do that. So, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to sell you these AirPods. Yes, I need to put one on. But I'm also going to raise the price by $3. 2.9% plus 50 cents a fee. I'm going to raise them. And now, you're going to pay the fee, the customer, for this item. So, guess what happens? The pro is, you get cash back. But the con is, business owners raise the prices and pass on that entire fee to you. So you might think you're getting cash back, but in reality, everything kind of cancels out, which is hilarious if you ask me, okay? On top of that, Tommy, all right, that sounds awesome, I understand it. So businesses pay for the cash back, but Tommy, you don't get it, okay? Sometimes when you have a credit card like this one, you end up getting 5% cash back, 3% cash back, which is a lot higher than the transaction fee that credit cards charge businesses, which is like one to 3%. Well, Great question. Good one. I got to give it to you. But I've thought of it. Credit cards have thought of it. And they've made a solution to that also. So whenever you go into a business and you spend like a, a, a whatever you spend on and you get back 5% cash back or whatever. Awesome. Clap, clap. Promotion. You're amazing. Well, what actually happens is this. And here's where Dave Ramsey actually comes into it. Usually when you're getting back 5% cash back, you might say to yourself, well, I'm getting back cash back anyway. So why not just go in there and just swipe, swipe, swipe. And what happens is you end up getting charged a ton of interest if you carry your balance for more than a month or whatever, okay? Or your statement. The whole point is this. Credit cards are betting on, I'll give you this promotional rate, which is usually only for like, you know, three months, a year, when you first sign up. And here's what they're saying, okay? They're saying, hey, if I give this guy, Tommy, Billy, Ginny, Elizabeth, whatever your name is, Zeke, well, whenever you give these people these credit card bonuses, maybe like 5% cash back. Well, that's what happens. They go in there, they overspend money, and now we're going to make money from interest, late fees, and also on top of that, whenever they spend that money, we also get a transaction fee from the business. So in reality, that 5% cash back averages out because some customers out there that spend that money, well, they carry that balance. So when you put the math together, 1 plus 2 equals 3. When you do the math, you get back 5%, but if you carry a balance, you're paying 20% on average on your credit card interest. So that's how that math actually comes along. So they make money like that, and that's where the reward money actually comes from. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, well, Tommy, I'm not liking how this is sounding, okay? Sounding like everything just cancels out. So in reality, I'm not even really getting back any rewards, but you're probably thinking in the back of your head, Tommy, but what about when you sign up for a credit card and you get back a huge, huge sign up bonus, okay? $500. $750. By the way, I just got one. I spent $9,000 and I got back um, $500 back in cash rewards, okay? Or like sign-up bonus, whatever you want to call it. And it's awesome, you know? I don't have to pay any interest. and have 12 months to pay it off and it was actually for a business expense. So I'm good to go. And it makes me money also. So here's the main concept here. Whenever you get a sign-up bonus, what a business is doing is what a business does. So for example, if you have a business, what do you want? You want more customers. How do you get customers? You advertise something, a promotional. So you say, hey, you know, awesome. I sign up, I get back $500. Isn't that great? Well, in reality, it is great for you because if you're watching this video right now, it means that you are in the top tier when it comes to people that know about credit cards because they're searching things up about credit cards. So congratulations, you're probably like in the 10% of the smartest people when it comes to credit cards. But 90% 
of the other people that see that same promotion, well, they're going to end up paying interest, an average of around $213. And usually when they tell you, hey, we'll give you back $750 or $500, well, you usually have to spend around $3,000. By the way, that $213 you end up paying on interest on average, that's only from a balance of around $1,107. So imagine if you're paying interest on $3,000 thousand dollars it's a lot more money and usually when a when a, when a when the average person goes into a credit card company and they say like hey 500 bucks i spent three thousand dollars that's no problem here's what happens step by step okay step one is this they see the promotion and they go crazy oh my god five hundred dollars five percent cash back i get back a sign up bonus isn't that great isn't that amazing two is this okay they go ahead they say oh my gosh this promotion is awesome I'm gonna sign up, spend $3,000, and get back $750. It's a no-brainer, it's a big good deal, okay? Well, number three is this. They end up spending $3,000 in less than three months, and now they got back $500, $750, but now they're like, okay, so I can't pay all this money back at once, so what am I gonna do? The answer is you're gonna have to pay it back over the course of maybe a year. So if you go a year, Paying this money back, let me do some math for you guys, okay? Think about this, okay? I'm going to break it all down right now. On average, the average person pays around 19.24% in interest for that balance. On top of that, the average merchant fee is around 3%. So when you add the entire interest fee of 19.24 plus the merchant fee, because you're going to spend that money at a store or wherever you go, the credit card is going to charge them 3%. Well, when you add those two numbers together, you get 22 Point twenty four percent, which means you just spent three thousand dollars, and if you carry that balance for an entire year, that adds up to around six hundred and sixty seven dollars. So if you spent three thousand, you got back five hundred. You just lost a hundred and sixty seven dollars. If you got back seven fifty, yes, the credit card company lost some money, but in reality, you're still going to use that credit card more and more and more often. So in the future, in the long term, they will make all their money back plus some more. And that's how the sign-up bonus actually works, guys. So you might think, I'm making all the money here, but unless you're not in this 10%, you're watching this video right now, 90% of people out there are going to lose money when they do the sign-up bonus deal. Surprised? I'm not surprised, but I'm kind of sad about the entire thing. And you might be telling me, Tommy, how do you know so much? You sound like you know way too much. And the answer is, yeah, I do. And I'm going to show you guys right here something very personal to me. And it was my first ever... My first ever laptop, well, I can't find it right now, but I'll tell you the story. My first ever laptop, I was 19, and I bought it because I got a credit card that gave me a $3,000 credit line at 19 with a job that made me $1,000 a month. Isn't that crazy? It is to me. Now, when I got this um, entire credit card, I spent the money on this laptop for $3,000, and then I ended up having to pay it back in 12 months with no interest, but midway through it, I lost my job. So now I'm making $60 a week and now I have to worry about, hey, how am I going to pay this back? And it's crazy when I think about it. You know, I got insanely, insanely lucky. People don't get insanely lucky like me. You know, I found out about this guy that taught me about credit cards. I started reading books. I started doing everything I possibly could. And in the end, happy story. I paid it back in full, no interest. But for a lot of people out there, they end up having to pay a lot of interest being in debt for their entire lives, and that entire concept makes me sad. It makes me really sad, honestly, okay? But the thing is this, guys. You have to know what you're getting into, and if you're watching this video, congratulations, you know what you're getting into. So, in the end, what is the takeaway from this video? Tommy, what is the takeaway, bro? Like, what, what do I do? You know, do I keep using it? Do I not use it? Do I stop signing up? The answer is Exhibit A. The average person out there will lose, they'll lose money, by trying to get a sign-up bonus, trying to get cash back. They will lose a ton of money. So Dave Ramsey, congratulations, you won this one. But exhibit B, people like you and me, I think I did that wrong, me and you, people like you and me, well, in reality, we will always win because we know what we're doing. So while the average person might not know what they're doing because we know what we're getting into, by the way, when I spent that $9,000 on that credit card, it was for a business expense. So in reality, I was going to spend it anyway, so I just got back $100 for actually spending the money anyway. So that's how that works. So people like you and I, we will always know this. 
we spent this money we'll get back the cash back and then we'll stop using the card or just use it to get back cash okay but we'll never overspend we'll never go crazy we'll never care balance and we'll always pay our credit cards on time why because we know exactly what's going on and we're part of the 10 percent so by watching this video you're officially a part of the 10 percent step one is this only borrow what you can pay full in that month okay if you buy something and you want to meet that spend limit make sure you buy whatever you buy usually so you can pay back that same month or within those three months of that entire like um promotion okay that way everything averages out so guys in totality i don't want to say this okay i don't want to go out there and say like oh credit card companies are bad they're terrible and this just all sucks this should be canceled the answer is no I can't blame the credit card companies for taking advantage of the market and trying to do promotions. That's business. That's how it works. Business is business. And you and I, people that are watching this video, we're going to take advantage of the business and actually make money from it. So I signed up for this credit card. I get back 5%. I pay back every single month. They never made a dollar from me. I signed up for the other card. I use $9,000. I'm going to pay back in 12 months interest-free. They will never make a dollar from me. So people like you and I, we will always win. And if you know anyone out there that is not winning, please tell them the truth, okay? Tell them how it works. Show them this video if you want to, but just tell them the truth because all it takes is just one spark, one person to tell you, hey, this is how it works, and that helps you get out the rat race, okay? Guys, as always, comment down below and let me know, did you enjoy this video? Do you understand exactly now how credit cards actually make money? And are you actually surprised, okay? And tell me a story. Did you ever get tricked by a credit card company to get back a sign up bonus or some cash back and then end up losing in the long run? Because I almost got this close to losing in the long run, okay? Comment down below, let me know. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, like the video, really appreciate it. And as always, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notified. And if you want to talk to me one on one, una uno, just DM me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. I'm always there. I answer all the DMs. And if you want to watch more videos, for example, how do credit cards make the bulk of their money around $1.04 trillion a year? Well, watch this video right here. And on top of that, click my face right here. Subscribe to the channel right now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching and peace.